my channel. Welcome to today's video. I hope you're having a great day. So today's video is all about how to switch from just normal, unnatural products like, you know, name brand, regular old products to natural products. And as a lot of you may know, this was a huge New Year's resolution of mine. And I'm still in the process of weeding out some things that I use on a day-to-day -day basis that aren't considered the most natural. So, Quick disclaimer before this video goes any further, I'm not going to be too much of a stickler about it, okay? Like anywhere from like 97 to 100% natural, that's pretty darn good enough for me. And obviously, doing something 97% natural isn't completely natural, but it's way better than using something with a bunch of other crap in it and just, you know, like giving up on all of it. You know, you're, you're using something that's mostly really good for you. Let's just jump straight into it. I have... <coughs> a cold. I have quite a few natural products over here that I have been able to glean over the last few months. And I think I'm just gonna go by brand because I already have them sectioned off by their own brands. Okay, so I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet with all the products since I have a lot. First one I'm going to touch on is this Yes to Coconut Ultra Light Spray Body Lotion. I actually mentioned this in like my September favorites, I think. And this is one of like the earliest natural products that I have been able to accumulate. This is 97% natural product. That's pretty bomb to me. If you want to see me explain a little bit more about this in detail, you can check that video out. I will link it in the cards above. But basically, this is super yummy smelling, super fine mist that you just spray on your arm. It works great when you have just like gotten out of the shower and you've just shaved your skin. Shaved your skin? Hopefully not. It works great when you've just gotten out of the shower and you've shaved your legs and you want them to be moisturized. I just love this. The smell reminds me of summer, but I will use this all year long. It's very not greasy. Very much awesome. Okay, so next into the Burt's Bees section. I love Burt's Bees. I love this brand so much. So, first item we have here is the Burt's Bees Shea Butter Hand Repair Cream with Cocoa Butter and Sesame Oil. And this is 99.9% .9 natural. So, none of y'all better be up and fits over that 0.1%, okay? So this stuff is great, great, great for when you have really dry hands. It's a very thick lotion, but it works really well to repair your hands. It's hand repair cream. So you know when you see hand repair cream that it's not going to be like, oh, non-greasy and this and that. Normally it's gonna be really thick. This is kind of greasy. I like to use it when I go to bed at night, so I'm not as like, oh my gosh, this is like so thick and heavy. This is for like, oh, it's a winter night, my hands are dry, I'm gonna put this stuff on and I'm gonna wake up with really soft hands. Next product we have here is the Burt's Bees Beeswax Lip Balm with Vitamin E and Peppermint, and this is 100% natural, yay! And this stuff I'm wearing right now on my lips, nice and pepperminty, nice and beeswaxy. Need I say any more? It's a great lip balm. I love this stuff. So the final Burt's Bees item for today's video is the Burt's Bees Fabulously Fresh Peppermint and Rosemary Body Wash, and this is 99.9% .9 natural as well. And this stuff is such a favorite of mine. I think I had this in my January favorites video. I have about a third left, so it's lasted me quite a while. It smells so bomb. It's such a great alternative to Bath & Body Works because it's like so dang natural and I'm so happy that I actually found something that smells bomb, lathers well, and is super natural. <laughs> Okay, so moving on to Shea Moisture brand. This brand is a great brand, okay? If you haven't tried it, and if you haven't heard of it, I mean, you just need to because I really enjoy Shea Moisture. So, first item from Shea Moisture is their Fruit Fusion Coconut Water Energizing Hand and Body Scrub with Imbi Oil and Aloe. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Imbi, Imbe, Imbe, Abu, I don't know. But, Let's take a whiff. Smell that. Whoa. It's bomb. This is, I need to come up with a better word than bomb. Bomb almost sounds like fail, like it's a, like it's a fail. 
It is so yummy. Oh my gosh, the fruit fusion coconut water. I mean, you got me sold by the title. So no parabens, no phthalates, no paraffins, no propylene glycol, no mineral oil, no DEA, no synthetic fragrance, no synthetic color, no sulfates. <laughs> Why am I trying to count on my fingers? And no animal testing, okay? That's great. This is great for before you shave if you want to exfoliate. I still need to get one of those like cloths that I can use, otherwise it like kind of scrapes my hands a little too much, but it is so great before shaving to exfoliate. So great. Try this stuff out. I don't think you'll be disappointed. It smells really good. This, I will have to say, is not very oily. So if you like it to be oily on your skin after it like washes off, then you're not gonna want this kind. But I like it just for the exfoliant part of it and how good it smells. So, up next we have the Shea Moisture Argan Oil and Almond Milk Soothe and Tame Shampoo with Marshmallow Root Extract and Cherimoya. Cherimoya, I don't, I don't know. For fine, frizzy, straight, and wavy hair. Okay, so I have fine hair, I have straight hair, and sometimes it's frizzy. So, this works great for me. This is no sulfates, no parabens, no phthalates, no propylene glycol, no mineral oil, no animal testing, no petroleum, sulfate free and color safe. There you go. You know, I don't have too much to say about this. I actually just recently got this. So, so far, no complaints. I am still on the look for something that might smell just a little bit more than this. This kind of smells just a lot like natural stuff. It doesn't smell bad. It does. It definitely has a good smell to it, but it's not like very powerful, very potent. And I really like my good smells, you know? But it does the job. And for that, I am thankful because it's replacing my OGX, which I have been informed isn't the most natural. It really isn't. I didn't look too much into it. I just knew that it was like sulfate free, but this is so much more than that. So the next item from Shea Moisture is the 100% virgin coconut oil leave-in treatment with coconut milk and acacia senegal, 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 and this is to detangle, protect, and control frizz for all hair types. And I have been looking for a leave-in conditioner, and I've also been looking for a heat protectant that's natural, and this is kind of like an all-in-one, okay? So that's awesome. This has no sulfates, no parabens, no mineral oil, no propylene glycol, no phthalates, no animal testing, no petroleum, and it is color safe. Also, I just really quick want to mention I have never colored my hair before, so like color safe has never been a problem for me, but I'm aware that a lot of you have colored, dyed, bleached, whatever you call it, treated hair, and I'm thinking of you, I'm looking out for you, and I thought I'd just include these details, so. And who knows, maybe one day I will bleach my hair. I kind of want to get like a balayage, but I've been told that like it's really like hard on your hair and I'm like, I don't know if I want to do it. Okie dokie. So the last Shea Moisture product is their 100% virgin coconut oil daily hydration conditioner with coconut milk and acacia and And uh, this has no sulfates, no parabens, no mineral oil, no propylene glycol, no phthalates, no animal testing, no petroleum, and it's color safe. Okay. I'm sorry, that probably is getting really annoying, but um... I just really like reading that list, it makes me happy, it makes me feel like I'm doing good things with my life. And as the same with the shampoo and the leave-in treatment conditioner, I just got this as well fairly recently. So I have used it and I have no complaints. Now this one does smell super good, the coconut smell. I will just never get tired of coconut smell because it's tropical and it reminds me of palm trees and sandy beaches and just my dream vacation. Alrighty, moving on to a new category. We are in the category of chompers, teeth. They will look probably pretty yellow next to this, so I'll just lower this and move it out of the way. <laughs> so this is the Toms of Maine brand toothpaste, and this is the fluoride-free, natural, anti-plaque and whitening toothpaste. It's in the flavor Spearmint, which if you're not used to spearmint and you're used to peppermint, it at first kind of tastes a little not as pepperminty. <laughs> it kind of tastes a little just not as like minty fresh. Spearmint definitely has more of a almost like you're chewing on the plant kind of taste to it. If you've ever chewed a pepperminty, spearminty plant before, okay? It smells good. Now I'm used to it. I want to try out their peppermint kind though, just because I prefer peppermint over spearmint. 
but it's great. It does the job. I've been using this for months now and haven't had any cavities. And I really like that it's fluoride free. My whole family has had issues with fluoride anyway. When we go to the dentist, we don't even get the fluoride treatments. So we're just, we have like a sensitive allergy thing to it. This says no artificial colors, flavors, fragrance, or preservatives. So yeah. Next item is the Schmitz Natural Deodorant. And this is a special little box that I just purchased recently. If you guys saw my February favorites video, you'll see that I talked about how I finally found a natural deodorant. And a few of you were suggesting to me the sensitive skin formula because I, my only complaint about it was the fact that it was kind of scrapey, like putting on in my armpits, it was like hard and not, it, it just took a while to warm up and I didn't like that as much. But other than that, I had no other complaints. Well guys, thank you for suggesting that to me because not only do they go on better with the sensitive skin formula, but this whole collection, y'all, smells so good. They all smell so good. And I went with this little tester box just because I wanted to try all of these different kinds out. There's geranium flower, there's coconut pineapple, that one is my absolute favorite. There's lavender tips, which smells a lot like the lavender and sage one that I got. That wasn't the sensitive skin, just less sagey. And then there's tea tree and jasmine tea, and jasmine tea is my second favorite. But they all smell really good, okay? They all smell really good. I mean, my sister's favorite is the geranium one. So, I mean, it just depends on who you are. My mom would probably like the tea tree one, too. So, just depends on who you are. I'm glad I went with the sample set because you know what? I can fit these in my giant purse. And as you all know, I fit a lot of crap into my purse. A lot. Okay, the last item I am excited to share with you guys is this Drop Dead Gorgeous Dry Shampoo by The Handmade Heroes brand. And this is all natural, vegan, dry shampoo for your scalp, for the excess sebum that oils up your hair and is like the curse of my life. I mean, that's a little dramatic. I hate oily hair. My hair gets oily after 24 hours of showering, sometimes even sooner, depending on like my cycle. I just learned your scalp and your face produces more sebum, which is that oily stuff. But anyway, bunny trail. This stuff is the Wanderlust for Sexy Brunettes formula. So hopefully I fit that category. Let's see. Yeah, that was sexy. There's a hair in my... So I've had dry shampoos in the past that are like, you know, like the aerosol can. Where you like spray it and it would leave my scalp really white and it would leave it feeling really weird. I wanted to try a direct powder, not only for the naturalness of it, but just because to see if it'd be more effective and it'd feel better. And so far, yeah, I feel like this works better than the spray kind. Sometimes I get a little brown like underneath my fingernails when I'm like, you know, just like talking and like playing with my hair, which I naturally do all the time. I'm just like talking and playing with my hair. So sometimes I'll get a little bit of this grayish color on my fingertips. Only con, but yes, this is so much better than any other dry shampoo I've tried before. I urge you all to give it a try. It's all natural. No parabens, no preservatives, no synthetics. All right, you guys, so that is it for my converting to natural products video. I hope you guys maybe learned something, found a product that you want to try out. I will, as usual, try to link all of them below. And I just want to put out there that I'm still on the search for finding natural substitutes for some of the products I still use. I haven't completely been able to convert over, but I've done, you know, a pretty decent job so far. So keep your eye out. Maybe I'll be making a part two eventually. Let me know if you like this kind of video. I know quite a few of you had been requesting this video, so yes, here it is. I hope it's all you wanted. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Keep smiling and have a wonderful day. A really good uh, eyelash. But I have been able to accumulate over the that I was able to collect over, collect? Why, why, Christina? Something that's mostly really good for you, so. <coughs>
excuse me. Like this is pretty darn crunchy natural. Daily hydration conditioner. Conditioner? Uh oh, I put them in the wrong order. 100% virgin coconut oil. Coconut oil? Coconut oil? I could fit one of these in here and no sweat. <laughs> Or maybe when you wear this, you suddenly fit the criteria for sexy brunette because you're now wearing it. I don't know. Because sometimes I get a little brown, there's a stinking spider crawling on my wall. What the heck? I know lots of you have been asking for this video, so yeah, here it is. 